We've got to go, now. The situation in Ramayar village has changed drastically. We don't know much more than that. We're hearing reports that the villagers are killing each other. Some say houses are burning. Regardless, we need to move. There's no way to tell who's lost their mind from who's mad with fear. If we don't act quickly, things are just going to keep getting worse. How about we hit him hard enough to knock him out, but not hard enough to kill him? That's too reckless. But... Uh, I'll admit I can't think of a better option. If some must die... Just know it was by the will of the goddess. Stop that, Marianne. We have to save all of them. There's no way this madness is by the will of the goddess. Nobles are responsible for the safety of the commoners. By the honor of House Gloucester, I swear that I will save them all. Claude, there are some strange-looking people here. So you notice, too. Look, there's a suspicious group hiding amongst the villagers. Could they be the culprits? If so... There you have it. Our objective is clear. Take down that suspicious group and rescue the villagers. My thank you so much! I have gratitude. Thank you. Thank you. There are some suspicious looking ruffians out there, but our top priority is to rescue the villagers. Got it? I'll rein in the villagers who've turned violent. You focus on rescuing the others. I stand ready. Stay focused.
ready and willing. Don't hold this against me, okay? Ready. to me. one giving orders to those weird ruffians. Isn't that Tomas?
ready and willing. Tomas, what in the world are you doing here? I'm not Tomas. My name is Solon, the savior of all. What's the matter? So shocked you can't even speak. <laughs> you were so easily fooled by my disguise. I was hiding away in Derek Mach to get the blood of that little girl called Flame. With her blood, we'll be one step closer to realizing our goal. I'll have a bit of fun here, too. That's the Death Knight. He must be an ally of Tomas, or Solon, or whoever he is. worked harder. Stay focused. Watch and learn. Thank you. Stand ready. I got this. Who, me? Yep. Thank you. 
We've rescued as many as we can. Now it's time to capture Solon. You are but a savage, insignificant beast. Yet you think you can kill me? some polish. for you. Long way to go.
saved me. I got this. Ready. Who, me? Ready and willing. We have you. <laughs> Anyway, in any case, we need to take care of Solar. Stay focused. Ah, the cursed Fellstar. This will be a fine opportunity to measure your power. Why have you gone after this village? What are you planning? Huh. <laughs> I could have conducted this experiment on any test subjects. Now that I have what I came for, I must bid you farewell. Wait! Damn it, he's gone. It's over. All we can do is focus on our next move. I'll have a look around the village. There may still be people who need our help. Bye. 
Looks like we somehow managed to sort things out, and casualties were kept to a minimum. They said they weren't picky about who they used as their test subjects. Because of them, the people of Ramire Village. There you are. That armor. So, you're the Flame Emperor. Yes. I believe you have met my subordinate, the Death Knight. Oh, we've met all right. But back to you. You're the one responsible for the destruction of this village. Do not get the wrong idea. What in blazes does that mean? It is true that I am working with Solon, but that does not mean our objectives are the same. Had I known they planned to do this, I would have stopped it. You have my word. Your words are meaningless. Now, I'll have to insist that you accompany us back to the monastery. I cannot abide that. However, if you wish to join forces, I will hear your plea. What? If left to their own devices, they will commit countless more violent acts like this one. Do you not wish to prevent that? With the sword of the Creator on our side, Solon would not be a threat. Pity, though not unexpected. Pray that you do not live to regret your choice. Gerald, Professor, have you seen Claude? What's wrong, kid? Huh? Oh, damn it! He's gone. Hey, I've been meaning to talk to you. Since coming to the monastery, you've changed. You've been angry since we first arrived in Ramire Village. And you look so happy when you're instructing the brats. Before the monastery? I'd never seen you bear your emotions like that. Not once. Then perhaps it's a good thing we came to the monastery. If only so I could see your face lit up like that. Or maybe there was never any reason for us to leave the monastery in the first place. Uh, I've put my foot in my mouth, haven't I? Though I suppose it may be nearly that time. Come to my office when you next have a moment to spare. There's something I need to tell you. Just what was that about? I can't recall a time of old when you were at the monastery. I wonder what is hiding in the mist that is your past. Hey, Teach. That assignment wasn't my favorite, I've got to admit. Uh, I suppose pretending to be unaffected doesn't do anyone any good. That was terrible to behold. It's always hard to see innocents die. Hey, all you can do is keep smiling, keep marching. That's part of a leader's job. We can't give in to despair. Not just for me or for you, but for all of us in the Golden Deer House. We have to keep smiling so the others can move forward too. As long as we don't show that we're disheartened, they'll know they can make it too. That's what matters. Yeah, Sorry for getting ahead of myself, Teach. That's how I feel, but how you handle it is really up to you. By the way, I hear that guy who calls himself the Flame Emperor showed up in Ramire Village. I couldn't believe it when Hilda told me the news. What could he be after? Maybe, after all, he was after the Sword of the Creator in the Holy Mausoleum. But then they kidnapped Flane and used her blood for their recent attack. 
Based on that, we should probably assume that their true objective is something other than the relics, don't you think? They called this incident an experiment, and they said they got what they came for. That means they might take this success and attempt something even bigger next time. Sadly, that's all we can assume. There are far too many things we still don't know. Flane, your timing is impeccable. Would you care to join us for a while, fair lady? What? Why? Oh my. Damn, she gave us the slip. In any case, I doubt she knows the full story. It seems more like she has something on her mind that she can't divulge. Whoa there, settle yourself, Teach. Seems like it would be better to push Sedith for an explanation, or best of all, to go above his head and ask Rhea. Now that we know Tomas was an enemy, we can't be sure that exposing the church's secrets would be to our benefit. Where are the answers I seek? Where are they? You did well handling that awful business in Rumayar village. I am certain the goddess shares in our grief at the senselessness of that calamity. More importantly, I was shocked to hear that our own Tomas was actually a dark mage. I must reflect on our blindness. You surely must. You failed to notice that a rat was hiding in your home. Pathetic! Who are these wicked foes? How did Tomas escape your gaze? Tomas came to the monastery 40 years ago, by recommendation of House Ordelia of the Alliance. Around eight years ago, he went back to House Ordelia, before returning to the monastery once again, just last year. After having worked at Garrig Mach for decades, why would he betray us now? Just what did he hope to accomplish? Yuritsa became a professor at the Officers' Academy because of a recommendation from the Imperial nobility. Supposing that he is the Death Knight, that means that our enemy is an organization that has taken root in at least two territories. In the long history of the Church of Seros, no, long before even that, there have been an endless number of threats to the peace of Fodlan. Yet those who oppose us still operate in the shadows. Their identity is a mystery. I believe that Solon and the Death Knight are merely one part of a much larger whole. A threat to Fodlin's peace? That means we have no choice. We have to stop them all. I have truly come to rely on you. I believe that the monastery will remain safe so long as we have you. We do not yet know the enemy's objective or whereabouts. For now, please devote yourself to preparing for whatever comes next. That is all for today. Professor, please wait. I know there is much that you still do not understand. However, one thing is clear. You possess great power. I believe that you are destined to be a source of great hope for all. In any case, I expect great things from you. Walk this world proudly, dear Professor. May the Goddess Sothis protect you. The Goddess Sothis? Is that what she just said? Is something the matter? I see. So this is the goddess's true name. Please do not use it carelessly. Farewell. Do not say something that we may regret. She... I... What exactly am I? For now, let's leave this place. Please, go!